Hi everybody, so I'm just going to give you a very quick uh, overview of what's actually in these marking bags that I'm giving to you all. Now, your marking bag is going to be a lot more full than what we have here. But there'll be basically bundles of flags, 50 flags in each bundle. You're going to have the number of big arrow signs that is assigned to the area you're marking. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about these. There will be a sticker on the back that tells you where to locate it. We'll generally put a few gloves in for you in case you need them. Um, we'll have these here, reusable cable ties, which I'll demonstrate in the next video. But essentially, it's a cable tie that once you've clicked it in, you can just push the button, the little button here at the front, and you can pull it straight back out. So you'll be using that to secure the signs. Um, we will have tape as backup. So if everything else fails, you'll have a roll of tape, which you can deploy with clips. I'll show you that in a second as well. Whereas our primary marking where flags and signs won't do are these kind of high-vis reflective ribbons so you can see they come with a stainless steel clip that will clip securely onto nearly everything these are the most visible so use them where the visibility is worst but in general if you have enough you can use a mixture because then you have two different colors that can catch people's eyes and we'll show in the next video how they look when they're deployed out on the course so apart from that a few sectors will have a marking um sign like this for really really difficult junctions that we've identified so you'll be briefed and shown where they would be put but you obviously have to stake them into the ground and if you do have arrow signs here to deploy that have no place to actually tie them onto if we know this in advance we will usually give you one or two of these we don't want you to carry around too many of these and that you can then secure you can secure the sign to this very simply, as you can see, you just always tread the cable tie through and through the front around whatever sign you have and then you just secure it here at the back like so. The other thing, so we will just release this one here When it's tight, as you can see, it's a bit more difficult. If you have very wide posts, you simply attach a second cable tie to the first one. And you can attach, generally, if you attach three or four, um, you will have enough width that you can get it around even like a large electric pole. But for most of the Wicklow Way markers and the wider fence posts, you need two cable ties. And for a lot of the small thin sticks and stakes, branches that you'll find one is enough so that's the basic content of the marking bag and um, because we may run out of high reflective ribbons if you should need it you can simply use as i say the backup tape here and thread that through the hole here in these uh, you'll we will give you a handful of these um what do you call them stainless steel clamps so you can just thread tape through and then tie it on and that way we can still reuse those as well so that's the marking gear so what i'm going to do in the next video is take you up to junction and just show you roughly how we want them marked